Welcome to WISIS Farm 2018. I am pleased to be joined this afternoon by Mr. Ali Aliafe, who is ICT advisor to the UAE Minister of Education. Thank, Thank you, you very much for being here today. Thank you for having me here. So I believe you have been involved with many e-learning initiatives in the UAE. What can you tell us about them? Because they're important to create the right environment to learn. Yeah, very good, truly. We started the initiatives in 2012 with uh, Mohammed bin Rashid's Smart Learning Program. And with that, we've been delivering an e-learning platform. And uh, now we're looking at designing it in a very innovative way where we can get more engagement from the learner. So we look at a uh, few different concepts. One of it is what, how can we increase the engagement moment of the student? So we take uh, boring material, boring books, and to convert them to more interactive live books. We try to use augmented reality, virtual reality to grab their attention. And the impact is, is quite positive. Also, we're trying to have the students own his own learning experience. We do that by giving him a platform that he could learn anywhere at any time. And he gets coached remotely by a teacher. And at any point of time, he can contact to a community who can also participate in the learning experience. Another thing we're doing is we're looking at how can we adapt some of the neuroscience concepts. Uh, for example, there's a concept called uh, space learning. Uh, which, uh, if used, it minimizes the curve of forgetting by reintroducing the concepts of learning over time of period. It measures how much or how soon a person forgets and at what point we need to reintroduce that concept, either the same concept the way it is or a different variation of the concept. And by doing that, you are minimizing the forgetting. So we're using technology, artificial intelligence, and automating some of the processes to achieve that. Another area is using adaptive learning. This is where we can achieve personalized learning. We can look at the student at individual cases. Student A capacity and capability is different than student B. So the system using AI keeps on asking the student several questions until it gauges his level of competencies. And then start slowly introducing new concepts, new questions to him, and build him accordingly. These are some of the interesting initiatives we're working on right now. Now, you have mentioned some of the very innovative technologies you are using uh, in education. I think that's interesting because here at WISIS Forum 2018, you were also a panelist, weren't you? And the panel was about sustainable capacity development because it's hard to keep up with new technologies, isn't it? Definitely, especially in the UAE with the rapid changes and the accelerated mode of advancements, it is becoming a challenge. So what we did is we decided to look at it a bit differently. Classically, sustainable development, capacity development is about training, professional development, skill building, but that's not enough. It does not guarantee performance. So what we did is in addition to that, we created framework, frameworks that allow organic self-development, where for example, we have one called the e-maturity. It's a framework given to school principals that gauges the immaturity of his practices in the school and how his school is progressing in terms of adapting technology into education and into curriculum. Another framework which is called the students and teachers ICT competency. It also measures where the teacher is in terms of ICT skills, where the student is there, and then looks at the gaps and keeps on keeps on improving until it reaches certain type of maturity and of course with this you need some type of a monitoring and rewarding system to make sure that everybody is actually moving along with it is that one of the key success factors monitoring benchmarking what would you say they are they are yes, the yes, success factors specific, you're correct that's well, the most important one because if you can take the responsibility of uh, capacity building and self-development, shift it over from the ministry and give the ownership to the learner or the teacher, then this is where you can succeed. Otherwise, it doesn't matter what technology you pump in into the education system. If the mindset is not changed to that, then you'll face a lot of challenges changing.
Okay, well, Mr. Arya Fate, thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. <laughs>